Welcome, viewers. This is Level M Diecast. We are covering premium, upscale, high end diecast today. We are talking Mini GT, and we aren't talking about just a few Mini GTs. We have several on tap. Uh, we're going to go walk through all of these for you guys to so take a look at these. Most of these are uh, available now. Some of these are available very, very soon around the corner, unless, of course, you're in other parts of the world. Everything seems to be available for you. Uh, this first one we're going to take a look at, this is the latest color of the Bugatti Vision GT. This is number 369 in silver. They have done blue and yellow. Now we do have silver. Um, all three versions have contained the blue stripe on the side. And, of course, the blue printing on the tires. Uh, that is an exclusive sized you know, tire for this model for sure. Um, this one... Just as good as the rest of them. I think silver is even better choice. Uh, the kind of um, kind of gunmetal gray, silver, black, and just a tint of blue mixed in really pops on this model. Um, it's very, very uh, busy. I think that uh, Mini GT deciding to tackle this particular casting in 164 is a serious premium top-notch move. There is no doubt about that. This one is... Definitely the best of the bunch. Uh, should you be wanting to find a Chase, I believe the Chase has silver interior. And the wheels are all silver. Does still have the blue stripe on the side. But definitely good for sure. We do have some more Bugatti, you know, flavor here. Uh, this is the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus. This is the Chiron that did 300 mile an hour plus does have the long tail in there. It is in matte black. Uh, this is a brand spanking new casting. This is the first release of this particular casting. Uh, this is number 374. Um, super, super stoked. We have a just regular Chiron around the corner from Mini GT. Uh, but for now, this is kind of what we get. We get some iterations of the Chiron. Um, but I'm very, very excited to get that. Just to have silver wheels. Uh, nice large lensed tail light in the back because, of course, it's got to be authentic to the original. Um, in case you guys are curious about Mini GTs or maybe you don't know, uh, the side mirrors are typically always rubber. They're a little bit soft. They can take a little bit of a beating here and there uh, just to, uh, you know, allow you to move the models around. So definitely a premium upscale feature. Uh, this one doesn't have any other print, but on the front, uh, there's no prints on the side. There's no print on the back. Um, I believe this was a test car that did a test run. So I don't necessarily think that this one really had anything go, um, going for it because it was, you know, it was, it was a test car. So, all right, moving on to uh, Yetz. Yes, Supras. There's always plenty of Supras when it comes to Mini GT. Uh, this is a brand new release. This is the Pandem GR Supra uh, version 1.0, Team Cusco Racing. 2021 Formula Drift Japan. Um, I do not believe that we've seen that particular wheel. I don't think we've seen that wheel on the Supra before. If we have, it's definitely not been on the Pandem. Um, this one looks pretty good. Uh, the wheel is is big. I like it. It's about a 12-spoke wheel. Looks pretty good. This Deco looks good with the Cusco on it. Definitely looks more race car than um, show car, uh, even though it is a Pandem kit on there. Full wing on the back. Again, just another Supra. But, you know, Mini GT is going to be doing many, many, many more Supras, I'm sure. Um, they are a relatively popular one. And, of course, there's a lot of them out there for them to do, which is always the biggest kicker. Next Supra up. This one's pretty nice. Uh, this is the HKS Toyota GR Supra. Uh, this is in downshift fluid. Now, if you guys did watch me do the haul video, I thought this would be a little bit more of a purplish blue, but I am stand corrected. Uh, this is just blue, uh, just really deep and metallic blue. Looks excellent. It's a fantastic color. Uh, it does have the chassis mounted wing on the back, which is pretty nice. This is number 368. So always happy to get, um, you know, versions like this. I think this one's pretty nice. Not not hundred percent sold on those those kind of arrow bits that are on the um, you know rear hunches over the rear wheels. I'm still not sold on those particular parts, but it is accurate to the real one. This one does also have a black stripe 
across the windshield for a banner. So looks pretty good. Looks pretty fancy. Uh, next one up, this one is a very, very, very interesting choice. Now, as we've already discussed, Mini GT is a very upscale premium brand. Um, they are nothing like, um, you know, Fuel Me models. They're not quite that level yet. Um, but it's very, very interesting that a very upscale diecast brand has decided to do a car that is completely not upscale. Although it's the premium version of the car, but it's not an upscale. It's a Hyundai. Uh, this is the Elantra N, uh, Cyber Gray Metallic. This is number 386. I'm, I'm digging this. I am absolutely digging this. This is a fantastic model, fantastic casting. Uh, Mini DT did a fantastic job on this model. I still think it's a little odd that they chose to do the Elantra. Um, there is another version of the Elantra that is coming out or will be coming around right out the corner uh, in black. It's got Mini GT on it. Now, the one thing about the Elantra is Mini GT is sponsoring some type of Elantra in a racing series, which is the other version. And I think that's probably why they did this. But regardless, um, again, I've mentioned this before. I'll mention it again. Mini GT is really starting to look outside the box and kind of seeing how to push the envelope a little bit. I mean, Mini GT can be dropping Huracans and Supras and Bugattis and you know, more Lamborghinis and all this other stuff all the time. But for them to drop this Elantra is is pretty nice. It's pretty special. I think that's uh, it's more than worthy of the uh, Mini GT name for sure. All right. Something else that's uh, way more Americanized. This is the Shelby GT500 SE Widebody. Uh, this is in Ford Race Red. This is number 389. Um, for all you Mustang fanboys or anybody who's just a fan of Mini GT, uh, this is a brand new casting. This is not the same Shelby casting that we've seen uh, before in white and blue. It is obviously not the same one as the Shmi 150. Um, this is the true wide body. It is a brand new casting. Um, this is fantastic. Now, when I did my haul video and I brought this in, I was looking at the card art and I'm like, man, it looks weird on the card art. Um, and that's kind of why, because it, it's a wide body, but it, you know, it wasn't illustrated very good as a wide body. Um, this one is by far better than the previous Mustangs they've done. Um, I also really dig the red with the two white racing stripes. Looks really, really, really good. Um, it's just really, really nice. And if you if you run your fingers down the side of the car, and, and I, I don't mean this is disrespectful, uh, but it's very curvy, just like a woman. Um, it's it's. It's actually a very, very good casting. I'm very, very um, shocked because I personally I didn't know this was going to be a brand new casting. And the fact that it is a brand new casting uh, makes it even better. So pretty happy about that. We have some more red on tap and we also have a brand new casting. Of course, this is the Lancia Stratos HF Stratel. Uh, this is in Rosso Arancio as the color. It's red. Uh, number 365. Like I said, brand new casting. Now, one of the things you'll notice as this rolls around, you will be able to tell that the pop-up headlights are a little different. They look just a little bit different from the body. That is because there will be headlight up versions of this car. Uh, there will be two separate versions. This is different than the Miata. Uh, the Miata has essentially two castings. Um, the closed headlight version is just a solid metal. So this is a little bit more of a more budget-friendly version. I guess you can say, um, of doing the casting. Um, pretty nice that this debuts in just a standard color. does have the one itty-bitty teeny tiny side marker light on the, or the um, side mirror uh, on the uh, left side of the car. Um, it says Stratos on the door. It is very, very, very tiny. You can see that in white. Just a very, very, very nice, very small detail. Just just looking good. Just looking good. Looking, looking very mini GT, I should say. Next up, how about that Miata, huh? Uh, this is one of the coolest. This is the coolest Miata they've done yet. Uh, this is the MX-5 Miata. Tuned silver uh, version, as they call it. Stone metallic. Number 407. It has basically the factory Miata wheels, but they have been enlarged as big as the wheel well will allow. Um, and they are two-toned with a chrome and gold look. This one is just super, super cool. I really like this. It does have that nice silver roll bar in it because, of course, it is the tuned version. Uh, headlights up as well. 
Uh, it does have a bit of exhaust deco, you know, whatever in the back there. It's not actually like a separate piece per se. Um, it is part of the base. Just showing that on there. It is kind of done up as part of the base. Um, but it doesn't matter. It looks fantastic. It does have a nice little lip. Spoiler at the front. Um, at the bottom. Looks pretty good. That is not on the standard Miata casting. This silver is fantastic. The silver is next level. Um, and they, it has color matched um, side mirrors on the side. Just looks so good. This is definitely the best version of the Miata. By far. I mean just best. Best version of the Miata. It just doesn't. I don't know if it's going to get any better than that. I mean, we're talking Miatas. We're talking Miatas. Uh, we're going to talk more drop top. This is the newest color for the S2000. This is lime green metallic. Um, I mentioned this before. I have literally never, ever, ever seen an S2000 in my life. That is this color. This is something brand spanking new to me. The color looks good. It doesn't look that good on the card art. It didn't look that good on the box art. But in person, right now, in the studio, looks fantastic. One of the best things about this casting I've always loved is the little tiny antenna. Antenna there on the um, you know rear quarter panel looks pretty good. Uh, this is just a factory stock S2000 left-hand drive. It is not fancy. And, of course, it is number 396. So rolling through mainly in the 300s. Most of these are mainly in the 300s. Not all of them, but most of them. Next one up, we're going to go race car style. And uh, if you guys watched me haul this, you may have been like, man, did they give us another one of those C8, you know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yes, they did. But this is a new version. This is not the same ones that they've released before. We've had three previous versions, two in sil or two in yellow and one in a uh, gray, uh, basically the same gray that you'll see on the stripes on the top. Uh, this is number 383. Uh, technical term, this is the 2021 Le Mans 24-hour GTE Pro. Uh, this is the second place winner uh, in that one. I absolutely love the race cars that Mini GT does. Again, premium brand, upscale stuff. This is kind of what they do. You know, somebody who's doing this ridiculous C8 right here, doing a Hyundai Elantra. It's just, I'll never get over that. It's just so, it's just so good. It's so good. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, we're going to roll out with a ton of premium brand stuff. This is going to be Lamborghinis to take us out. Uh, this is the latest color for the Urus in Aracio Morales. I think is how you say that. Uh, number 360. It's metallic orange. Nice, brilliant metallic orange. Um, the Urus is a very good casting. It is, is nice and big. Uh, so it looks good next to other Mini GTs. Um, there's not a whole lot to talk about the Urus. I mean, it's it's an SUV, it's a Lamborghini, yada, yada, yada. Um, I am kind of interested to see if at some point they are going to put a tow hitch on this. Um, since they do, you know, a trailer accessory and it seems like they want to potentially do more of those. Um, so if they do do that, I think that putting a trailer hitch on this Urus uh, will be a very good idea. But uh, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see what they say. Kicking on, or keeping on the orange theme, I should say. Uh, this is the latest LB Works Huracan, the Huracan GT. Same exact color as the previous Lambo. Um, I love the graphite gray roof that just offsets the whole car. It just, it's perfect. Now, the top of the wing is black, so it's not graphite gray. I think it would have been a little bit better if it was graphite gray. Um, but again... I mean, Mini GT, LB Works, everything Liberty Walk. I mean, Mini GT just hits all the all the cylinders with this guy. Number 355, uh, this one, you know, they've done uh, quite a few Liberty uh, Huracans, but I think the orange is a good, uh, good fit, I guess you can say. And, of course, you know, it's Mini GT quality. Mini GT Deets, so we like every bit of that for sure. Uh, going on to another Huracan, which is a much, much, much toned down uh, LB Works Huracan. Uh, not a ridiculous outlandish one like we just saw. Now, the funny thing is, uh, this number 375, it's just in red. Now, the funny thing is, is when I, I pulled this, um, just kind of looking at it in the, the box, because I believe I got this in a box. I didn't get this on the blister. 
I thought for sure that this was going to be more of an orangish kind of color, but I was wrong. I was dead wrong. It's flat out red. It's just blood red. Um, and it looks good. It looks good. I love the, the little, um, you know, duck bill on the back. I think that's a super, super good addition to it. Um, I like wings. I like wings, but I think the duck bill spoilers look a lot better. Just personal preference. Um, I do like the front end. It's very low slung down. It has a huge air dam down there. Uh, pokes out quite a bit. And of course, super details on the headlights, of course, which is pretty, pretty good. Now, we have seen a two Liberty Walk Huracans, one ridiculous, one kind of regular. But we have not seen the next casting because this is a brand spanking new casting. This is the GT3 Huracan Evo in presentation deco. So this is its presentation when they showed off the GT3 Evo Huracan for the whole world to see. This is the deco that they used. Um, this is a brand new casting from Mini GT. Adds to the GT3 line. Um, we do have uh, the Nismo GTR. We now have the Huracan. We have the Bentley Continental. We have the uh, Ford GT. Um, we also have the course Corvette, the C8. We have the NSX. And um, it's not a GT3, but, I mean, we have the 190E. It's not GT3, but it's it's on the same realm. It's on the same realm. Um, this one looks really, really good. I like the wing. I like the deco on the wing. I like kind of the camouflage, kind of tearing um, kind of effect it has on the top. And the, and the deco looks good. Windshield batter looks very good, too. Um, the wheels, not a huge fan of the wheels. Um, I think these wheels are the same or very similar to the ones they do on the C8. Not a huge fan of those, uh, but they are pretty realistic. They are pretty accurate to the uh, one-to-one car, I should say. So what we're going to do uh, as we kind of roll out is, um, let's see, maybe put a, you know what? We're going to put our number one. We're going to put our number one on here, and you're going to be shocked that's my number one. So there you go. Uh, massive slew of Mini GTs. Uh, most of those are readily available in the U.S. right now. The rest of those you might have to get from other places if you want all of them. Uh, head over to Surplus Goodies and a couple other vendors and you'll be able to scoop them all up. So appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Mini GT as a staple of the channel. So if you love it, come back. We'll always have more Mini GT. And I appreciate everyone, you guys. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to roll out. Peace.